this old guy DIY video has to do with checking and changing the gear lube in a squealer. Let's see, SQ172 Bush Hog that I recently bought. So I removed the four 13 millimeter head bolts so I could get easy access to this thing. I don't have anything fancy to suck out the gear lube. And when I look in here, you know, it looks kind of milky, so I suspect it was contaminated with water over the years. And what I'm going to use to take the stuff out is just one of these siphons that are commonly sold for about $5 uh, just for siphoning kerosene. And then I'm just going to put it into that little container. And when I'm done, I'm going to put some gear lube into the gear case. So I'll take care of that and get right back with you. I have most of the old lube sucked out and when I started this adventure I didn't realize that there were two holes here on the side. You can see I'm sticking the probe down in there but uh, when you're cleaning a gear case like this out you have to go down there suck all the crap out of there that's the actual bottom of it. Then I'll take a rag and uh, wipe what I can here off cleaned out as much as possible and then I'll refill it. But this little technique worked pretty well and I didn't have to buy any expensive tools. And I just used this cotton rag to absorb the last little bit. Now it looks pretty empty and dry so I'll refill it. And when refilling pay attention to this fill plug on the side when you get up to the bottom of the fill plug hole, it's time to stop. So I have the gearbox filled with new lube and uh, there are a couple of little stripes in there like some chick highlighted her hair. So I didn't get everything out of there, but certainly the contaminant is uh, not at a high enough ratio that it's going to affect this thing. So now I'll put her back together and that'll be that. So I used a 13 millimeter socket, replaced these four bolts, and I'm ready to put this thing back in action. I hope this video helped you. Have a great day.